Okay, for the duration of this video, I'm going to be calling the kicking sport football, not soccer. So yeah, I hope everyone is just okay with that. Now, you may ask, football? What is it and why? Is it in Minecraft? Well, to answer that question, I have undergone many long and difficult hours of research, and football apparently was invented by a man named China, and then the idea was probably stolen by someone else at some point and made into what is today. And apparently, football is a sport where there are two goals, with two teams who try to kick a ball into the opposing goal. And you can only kick the ball unless you are a goalie, who stands at their team's goal. And unlike other players, the goalie is able to eat the ball at any point in the game. Nom, nom, nom. And these are the basic rules of football, which has helped it become the number one sport in the world. You know, that's pretty easy. I think anyone can do that really. But this small unknown sport was for a long time, perhaps within reality. But luckily someone thought to themselves that yeah, this would be better in Minecraft. So without further ado, let's go into the gameplay part of this video with that really cool transition. Yo, what's up? This is the gameplay section. It's very cool in this part of the video because I said so. So yeah, now when you join Hypixel Fruit Bowl, you quickly discover that the lobby is just the standard football map. And this reveals one of the problems with football on Hypixel. There's only one map, and now I know that other maps would be kind of pointless because it doesn't change how the game plays at all, but it sort of adds to how the game gets sort of redundant. But if you can move past that part, it's a really fun game. Anyway, comparing the gameplay of this version of Foosball to the real life version, you won't really see that many differences. You have to get this ball thing into the other team's goal with the help from your teammates. Now, since you don't have the ability to kick one leg at a time in Minecraft, the only ways to move the ball is to walk into it or punch it. Punching the ball makes it go way further than if you just walk into it and also makes it get set on fire because you're just so strong. You're like, ooh, I'm an anime guy. Also, you can choose to right click the ball instead of left clicking, which sends it less distance than if you do left click, but it gives it these cool little red particles, which shows that you're not giving as much force as Goku Dragon Ball. You also have the ability to double jump, which is very cool and amazing. Such a great ability. You're just like a guy in Lego, a complete saga, Star Wars. And yeah, those are all the controls, but moving the ball is only one half of the game of Suit Ball. There's also strategy to think about. Now, the first thing that team should do is assign a goal E. And the cool thing about this game is there's no way to know if someone is actually protecting the goal because no one is assigned to be a goalie. You just walk in there whenever you feel like it, which is also a really good feature. I like that. But what is the strategy to, you know, get the ball into that little goal? Well, through a lot of scientific study, it seems that the best method is to hit the ball into the ceiling, to dribble the ball, then double jump and slam the ball into the goal like your Space Jam McGee. But that is really the whole game. Just like the map, the game is basically the same each time. And even though I think the game starts out fun, it just gets boring because there's not really that many changing elements within it. If you look over to Mindplek, they have a football game too, and they sometimes throw a second ball in there sometimes, and it shakes things up. Like, shake it up, the best Disney show. But at the end of the day, no one can be as good at the game as the official Minecraft football community with their hit montage videos. So, why even bother trying to play this game? Minecraft football struggles to get more than 50 players on it most times, which doesn't make it the least played game on Hypixel. But there probably isn't anyone saying, oh yes, I love football on Hypixel. It's my favorite Hypixel game. Uh, so that's why this game on its own would be a two out of five, but compared to other Hypixel games, it gets a three out of five because even though it is fun, it lacks Scott Sterling. Here he goes, winding up for the shot, and... 